uh, we are in uh, in Krupa and I would like to introduce you uh, Sneska and uh, we will be talking about their uh, tourist farms and uh, please talk about uh, in a nutshell about your tourist farm where we are in location what is the things what you are the most proud of and and so on yeah we are in a village Krupa this is a small village 12 houses uh, we are actually proud f uh, for our spring. We have a spring of River Krupa here. It's uh, the biggest one in, in Belokraina. Uh, there is a big rock, uh, I think it's 20 meter high. And uh, under this rock the water, you know, comes out. Well, it's not a long river, 2 kilometers, but it's, you know, very nice. We also have there these animals, Proteus and some special sort of of snails they found it here our tourist farm we have it now for about 18 years something 17 or 18 something like that um uh, two years ago we actually expand the rooms we have now eight rooms and also we have a traditional uh, house of bela Kraina. This is the new house, but it, it is built in this old style. Uh, this house, uh, there we have a museum. Um, actually, a museum about the, the embroideries, uh, from which Belokraina is famous for. Um, and also, uh, you can learn something about your uncle Lavrin, the first uh, Slovene translator, and he was born here in our village. Uh, yeah! <laughs> We also have a lot of an animals, uh, for example, donkeys, goats, small goat, of course sheep, because uh, lamb is traditional uh, dish in Belokraina, <coughs> and also small small birds in the cages. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. well, there is also a cave, a little cave, here, well not in this village, but in Movernavas, this is not this is close from here, from our uh, farm to the cave. You need 20, 20 minutes on foot. And uh, the Movernavas is actually... Uh, it was the first uh, village that people lived in Belokraina. Okay, and what are you the most proud of in connection with, with your farm? Well, actually proud of that uh, you know that the people that come here are, are satisfied with our offer uh, and they come again to t and they tell about us to their friends but also that we are managed to uh, to build this small wooden house that I was talking about um, in the future we would also like maybe to have some more rooms then also expand this uh, wellness on tourist farm. Well, we'll see. Uh, I was uh, reading your brochure and uh, I was reading about awards in connection with your products. Can you? Yes, we also, you know, uh, get some awards for bread, uh, then for wine, of course, also for lamp and, you know, the small pig uh, and, and lamb. It's very traditional here at Belokraina. Uh, then, of course, there are some competition where, you know, the owners of tourist farms, they compete in preparing some food. The, the, this is actually, uh, the competitors come from whole Slovenia and my mom, she was uh, the first uh, in one year that we were we were in this competition, yeah, and we are very happy about this award. <laughs> mm -hmm. and, and also for you know for us in the pa in the past here in Semich, uh, there was a, a competition for the best uh, the best village if they mm -hmm. have you know the the best flowers and so on and also Skrupa the village uh, become well actually we get this award so yeah <laughs> mm -hmm. 
And uh, what's your first association when you hear the word of Bella Kraina? Bella Kraina, yeah, of course, this uh, white cloth, uh, land, white cloth. Then, of course, uh, the tree, beard. Then you, you, I think about uh, Kuipa River. This is very important. Then Mirnagora, also very nice hill to go for a walk. Um, yeah, I think the, then also this eastern egg, uh, X that we painted here at Belokraina, Belokrainska pisanice. Then of course this dish, Belokrainska pogača. Uh, well, there are lots of thing, uh, things. And what's your uh, opinion about the possibilities of the development of the ecotourism of Belokraina? I think uh, the tourism is here is already present here. For example, actually, we you know for heating we use wood. Uh, a lot of the tourist farm does that. Then the, I think the food is you know uh, is prepared uh, in this domestic way. This, this is also one part of it. And then when we uh, rebuild our house, we use this this special b b bulb. And then we also have this sun collector, uh, you know, that we can... Renewable resources? Yes. So, yeah, I think... Actually, but to get the but this license that you are... Eco, this costs a lot of money, you know. There are, they come, the, the the experts, they come from Austria or from Germany. Uh, then they have a special a request. And but I think that eco tourism is you no know, great possibility. Uh, well. We will see in the future. We would like to have this license. Uh, it means that you you are thinking of, uh, about the nature, uh, trying to but to save it, to not pol to not pol pollute it, you know. And if guests uh, thinks like you, then they will choose the, that kind of. A farm or hotel and so on. Now it's just one tourist farm in Slovenia that have this this uh, eco flower. Are you far from this uh, eco flower? I mean the processing process, or um, far? no? Mm -hmm. I think this year we will we manage to to do that. To which countries uh, do you have visitors usually? Uh, a lot of uh, of them are Slovenes, but uh, they're also f foreign guests. Uh, actually, from Austria, Germany, also from Italy, maybe a few from France, Denmark, uh, then from Great Britain. Actually, from this, uh, from Europe. But there are not a lot of them from Croatia. Actually, we, we miss the, that guest from Croatia, from this part of Europe, you know, Serbia, mm -hmm. Bosnia. There are not a lot of them, maybe just a few. But from, you know, West uh, Europe, yeah, a a every year is better. <coughs> and how did they, uh, how did they uh, fa find you? I mean... In the internet. I think, and also uh, the the tourist farms we have here in Slovenia, the brochure. There are special brochure. There all all tourist farms are included. This brochure is in five language. It's very nice place, as you can see. And how many people can be settled here? I mean, in this in this. Uh, actually. We can accept around 75 to 80 people that there is still, still place that they can get dance, you know, because Slovenes still like dance if they are celebrating or something. But if they come just to have lunch, then it's possible uh, two buses. Now we are looking 
the the rooms. Yeah, there, there is uh, six rooms and a small uh, living room. Yeah. They also have small kitchen. And let me leave one room. Mm -hmm. That's very nice. I like the embroideries. Mm -hmm. Are these typical for? Are these typical for this region, of course? Mm -hmm. right. As you can see here, the the place it's very natural, close to the nature. There, there are the animals. There is a nice garden. We will uh, look around. So this wooden house is traditional house of, of Bela Traina. There is a museum and a small room where we also serve lunches, but also uh, a place where you have the companies have meetings and so on. A small room. Yeah. Uh, here we have a display with the jacuzzi and there you will see the animals. And look now where are the donkeys now. <laughs> and this small uh, goat. Uh, and there are these this birds in cages. Hmm. And how many animals you have, I mean, how many? How many? I don't know exactly. We have around 50 sheep, then 5 Donkeys, five these small goats, a lot of birds, I think. No exact number. Uh, these are cages. Mm -hmm. And I think this is the place for Yanko Laurin, I think. Yes, this is the uh, house where, where he was born. Uh -huh. These are goats now. <laughs> This thing is uh, missing from the modern world. 